I was adopted. I have two brothers and one sister. All four of us were adopted by the same couple and they decided to adopt all four of us and keep us together. That's the Cinderella story. Within that story though, they were both mentally and physically abusive. So it's a beautiful thing to have my brother and sister raised with me. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it was something I had to fight through. Even though I got what I wanted, there were some things that I needed more. You know, I needed that love, that, that, uh, that home, that heart structure. It wasn't the case, not even a little bit. And so when they told me that I wasn't good enough or I'd never amount to anything, there's a part of my brain that wanted to believe that. Like, maybe I won't be good enough. Maybe I'm not good enough. But I still love them. Despite the, uh, the physical abuse, despite the mental abuse, and all the other stories that I lived with, I remember saying, I love you. I remember giving them a hug. I remember asking for something that I knew I'd get a no from. And then a week later, ask again. I approached it differently. Like, what is this inquisitive kid? What's wrong with him? And I think every time I faced my demon or I approached my fear, it strengthened. It made me feel like, you know what? If I try something enough times, or if I believe long enough, or the thing that I'm afraid of, I look it in its eye and say, you're not gonna defeat me, own me, control me, then I win. When someone loves themselves, when someone really believes that despite my flaws, despite my shortcomings, my looks, my income, I like me, I love me. When you love yourself, you treat yourself as such. You ever have a car that you love and you would just shine it and polish it and every Sunday you'd wash it yourself? No, I'm not gonna take it to get washed, I'm gonna wash it. To be in that place as a human being, to love yourself enough to say, you know what? I understand my value. And because I understand my value, I'm gonna treat myself in every area of my life the best way I can. Be the best version of me. I may slip here and there, but my love is stronger than my hate. My love is stronger than my weakness. My love is stronger than my doubt. If your love is the epitome of you, then you'll always win in life. But there is no weapon out there. There's no anything in life that could defeat me or make me feel less than that will come on top. I come from a background, my life, where I've had many reasons not to be here today. Many reasons to fail. But I understand how to talk myself out of that fear and how to talk myself out of that pain. I don't relate to being overweight, but I do relate to not loving oneself. So once I've mastered that and I've lost the weight on my heart, so to speak, I can then show other people how to do that. Every single day I get up thinking, all right, how are you going to make today better? What is it about today that you're going to work on that you gave a little bit of time to yesterday? What did you fail at today? Some people dwell on their failures and some people allow it to own them or their shortcomings or their weaknesses. I look at it as a way to challenge myself. And I take it and I empower myself. So I knew with my childhood, with my upbringing, everything that I've been through, there was nothing out there that was gonna be the thing that defeated me. There was nothing, no human being, no circumstance, nothing. If I can come through what I came through, oh, I can get through anything. I use that fuel to get me to where I want to be. And when that's on, there is no stopping me. There is no stopping me. Because that sort of dedication and that determination that separates you from the probabilities and the maybes of the mentality of certain people. I have both. What I choose to show when I choose it is up to me. I think you get a charge out of that Rah, that relentless, nothing's gonna stop me. You know what I mean? When you use that power, that's just as beautiful as the smile. I believe that health is so much more than a push-up. It's so much more than a squat. I think there is a mental exercise that you have to do daily, be it reading a book, being it having a provocative conversation, there's an emotional health piece that you have to do. There's a social piece. 
there's a spiritual piece. Mm -hmm. What I do is I put some of my energy into all of those pieces throughout my day. Who in your so in your circle that motivate you, that inspire you? Is it the same people that when you were 70 pounds heavier or 40 pounds heavier that are in your life yeah. that are your enablers? Or have you separated yourself to surround yourself with people to motivate you? And maybe it's not about weight. Maybe it's about your current financial state. Maybe it is where you are and where you want to be. But you're never going to go where you want to be if you're associating with the same type of people. Mm. So there's levels of health. Those five pillars of health are how you become strong. That's how you make your fist. You know you're afraid of this, but go for it anyway. Mm. You know you're not good at this thing, but do it anyway. And if you do it, what's going to happen on the other side of that version of you? I always want to charter the unknown from an internal perspective. What happens, because I've been doing that my whole life. What happens on the other side of me if I truly face my fear? Be honest with yourself. Because if you practice honesty with yourself, that's who you are, you'll naturally become that for everyone else. We're always trying to get better, right? You never land on betterment. We're never always there. It's a moment. No one's happy with where they are. You can be happy in a moment, but to have aspirations and goals is what make us great. You know, I've never met anyone who's had any level of success, who doesn't continue wanting more in other areas or trying different things. And I hate when people are like, well, why don't you just do that? Well, why are you trying to pigeonhole me? Am I just supposed to be one thing for the rest of my life? No. Pursue life. Stay humble, but stay hungry. I'm never going to approach a situation like I know everything, even when I know a lot of that thing. Because I may learn something that I didn't know that I can just add to my deck of cards. And I'm out here trying to add to my deck of cards. I'm not trying to be the everything. Because if I am, then, I, then I've stopped growing. The best people out there in every circumstances, be it business, be it relationships, dad, father, husband, CEO, employee, wherever you are in your category, you have a willingness and a desire. Those are the best people. If that's your DNA, have a willingness to grow and a desire to be better, you're going to fucking win, man. You're going to win. And never, ever, ever give up. There will be people out there that will tell you you're not good enough. There will be people out there to tell you that you'll never be the other person. Don't be one of those people. Be the outlier in that belief system. Be the one who's different and be the one who never gives up on you. Be great. Why are you limiting yourself because of what people might think? We hold so much weight on others' opinions that it becomes our opinion. Which is crazy to me. Like, I think you, everyone in this room, everyone in this world wants to be better than where they are right now. What's stopping you? Oh, I know, you. We create so many excuses to pursuing the best version of ourselves. What's your dream? What makes you happy? Great takes a level of discipline that is distraction free. I'm just that much into it. I want it that bad. I can see myself doing this for the rest of my life. Why? I love it. If you love something, you spend time with that something, right? It's no longer just an idea or a probably or a maybe or a one day. I love it. So I nurture it, I polish that car, I wash it, I spit shine it, right? What is the one thing that people can change that can have a massive impact on their health? In order to change, you have to change. Love what you're doing, but challenge yourself every day. Love what you're doing, but challenge yourself just a little bit every day.
and you will change.